set. Okay, you guys, we're going to look at the hop and how the drive knee relaxes. All right, so I am a left foot jumper, so I make impact to the board, and the right knee continues to run off. As you can see, my ankle is low. It's not as high as I need it to be. But my drive knee gets to that 90-degree point, and the main focus is once the drive knee has done its job and gotten to its checkpoint, it relaxes. So I'm virtually on the ground still. I'm about an inch away from the ground, but you understand what I'm saying. And that leg is done. It relaxes. Now it's going to just relax straight downwards. But because of the speed that I brought in, by the time my leg goes from 90 degrees or this A position to down and relaxing, I'm going to be over this 8 foot checkpoint. Okay? And then once it relaxes now, I'm over the 8 foot checkpoint. Now you could see that my chest is too far forward. Okay? Um, there are slight angles in this, which is what I'm working on. But you can understand that heel to the butt, leg is straight, my halfway checkpoint is 8 feet, which should mean that I should travel another 8 feet, so I should have a 16 foot hop position. Now from there, the left leg, that's, that's been the jumping leg, is going to continue to go to its A position. As you can see, it falls short of an A position, which means that I should not be able to jump another 16 feet. I'm, I'm going to be short, mainly because I cut short this angle on my knee. But as you can also can see that this, um, the right foot is still hovering. And as I travel beyond um, this board with my body, that foot should stay there. Now it's going to be a time where the foot gets so far away, my body gets so far away from where my foot was that my foot has nothing to do other than continue moving. As you can see, I end up going beyond the board. My body's too far beyond where the board position was, so my foot then leaves that that position, that area, which is a good thing because now I'm traveling further than that eight foot checkpoint. Now I make impact. Okay, I think that's um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm about, about three feet short from that overall checkpoint, but you can see that that foot is still backwards. This knee separation is what we're looking for. So then once you make impact, you have your levers. The arms and the leg are both going to be swinging to put you in position. Once you make impact flat footed, arms and leg are swinging forward now to an upright position to get to your step phase and continue out your jump and you hold that in position got it okay so Maddie first thing is on takeoff you kinda have a flaw how I did alright this leg your right leg can see that your heel needs to be up towards your butt because I want you to run still. This position right now is a jump. You're in a jumping position, which is what we don't want because it slows down your speed. Okay, now you can see your ankle is beyond your knee, which means you're reaching. This reaching position is you trying to find this halfway point. Your body's gonna go there anyway. Just let it let your leg get into a position and then relax. Okay, but once you do find your position over the top you do hover over that position but remember you were a foot behind the board on takeoff and you're also a foot behind the hover position the halfway point you see that foot behind the board foot behind the position so you missed your cue a lot of it was because you were trying to reach for position just let it go Okay, but you can see that that right foot, it just hovers over that position, which is great. Okay, but now since you have a little knee drive here, your knee on the left knee is going to match whatever position you set for it here. As you can see, when you come into your, your exchange, which is shown 
here your knees are matched up, correct? And then from there your leg goes straight downwards. From what, this is your highest point. And then from there your knee goes downwards, which doesn't allow you to get enough angle for a good powerful jump. And you can see here that you landed one foot short of the cone. Everything has been consistent. One foot behind the board, one foot behind your checkpoint, one foot behind the cone and, and, and uh, checkpoint there. If you were to be a little bit forward, you would have been on all checkpoints. You would have covered eight feet, which puts you at an eight foot jump per um, per jump. That puts you at 24 feet from a short, I don't know, what is that, eight feet of eight foot approach. Okay. And then you can see that you do a great job with allowing your ankles to sweep by each other and you're up into your step phase and this position is perfect your leg is extended all the way out um, I prefer that this leg be straight but your arms and everything is great this is really good a lot of strength improvement so far okay Janelle so your run this run is actually pretty good off the board your knee drive very minimal but your ankle is beneath your knee, which is at a position, so it's good. I'll take it for now. You hover over the checkpoint so much so you actually touch the hurdle. Okay. Only problem now is this ankle needs to be at your butt. The knee's in the right place. I want your ankle at your butt. Tuck that away because that slows down the overall rotation. Right now you're lifting this leg and it's, it's a heavy lift. Okay. Now when you're about to make impact, See how straight this is? Everything right now is downwards versus being upright. But you make impact flat footed, and then here's a big problem. Instead of sweeping your leg, you're running off. This position right now is your takeoff position. Okay? This needs to be here. See that? This is you run off. The problem now is you're going to be running off again I need this to be a jump this ankle needs to be down here with the other one okay but now amazingly because your strength is getting so strong you're able to get up and have a great step phase alright so let's imagine if you were to swing and have an, a huge arm or leg swing to see what happens to your next position your next jump Matt this is probably one of your best ones Okay, you're running off, good, A position, very small, but it's still A position, okay, for some reason you ended up only doing a, a three foot checkpoint, halfway, halfway checkpoint, your heel to butt is, it's almost there, okay, but it's, it's probably small because of, you started off small, and then you're down, A position there, which is good, you have your separation, your foot did hover over the checkpoint that you created, Flat footed, good. Your ankle is more like a middle dribble. You see that ankle passes by your calf. It's still too high. And you get to a good step phase. Arm is straight, back leg is straight, A position. This looks, this looks really good. Master this. I want to see this every single time. And Sophia, okay, just like me. This ankle needs to be up here. You gotta continue running. So you're actually bending this leg way too much. This looks like a jump. It needs to look like a run. You're reaching. You're looking right at the, the hurdle, which is not putting your chest forward and you're reaching your ankles past your knee. Bad position. Okay? But you do great with hovering over it. You're about six inches too high. I need you at the hurdle. Okay, because you're going to see what happens next. Now at your exchange point, your knees are there, but you're doing a low dribble. This ankle needs to be at your butt. Your chest needs to be upright. Your eyes need to look forward. Okay, you then you can see that that's, this is your highest knee point. It starts dropping from there. It never gets up to an A position. You finally make impact. You should be impacting on the ground now, but you have an extra six inches to land because you jumped six inches too high. That's a whole foot of extra travel time, which takes a lot of time out of your timing. 
You can make impact. The leg is back still. It hovered perfectly. You can see that you collapse. Look how low you are in this position. That's because you jumped too high. 12 inches too high, actually. It was 6 over the hurdle, but 12 inches of too much movement. Okay? That's why you, now your chest is falling forward, but your strength shows throughout your jump because look, look how high you get in your position. Now imagine if you were to save that 6 inches and use that extra 6 inches of upwards and downwards into your next position and jump with this power. Okay? Alright, so overall you guys are doing a great job. Keep watching this video. Watch everyone's video, even myself. So you guys can see what's going on and your brain will connect to getting to a perfect jump.